welcome back. Now, in a blow to the BJP party, strongman and former Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadirappa has been sent to jail for seven days in a land scam case. Now, after much drama all through the day, today Mr. Yadirappa surrendered in a Lokayuktiya court and was sent to judicial custody until October 22nd. Now, this comes after a special court hearing land cases against the BJP leader rejected his anticipatory bail plea and issued an arrest warrant. Well, a little while earlier, the ex-Chief Minister's lawyer as well spoke out on what lies ahead. Here's what he had to tell us. All right, a warrant warrant has been issued. It can be executed at any point of time. Seven days' time has been granted uh, to the investigating officer to execute it and report back to the court as such. At any day, in between these seven days, uh, he can execute the warrant. What is your next step legally? What do you hope to do we will now? Be, we will be challenging the order of uh, the trial court uh, in the High Court because uh, in a rejection of a bail application uh, uh, in a private complaint is very, very rare and remote and in 100 years of judicial history, this is the first of its kind. Well, Yeti Rappa going to jail is a major embarrassment for the BJP at a time when senior party leader LK Advani is on his Rath Yatra against corruption. But the party says that it will continue to support Yadirappa as the charges against him have not yet been proved. Well, the Congress says Yadirappa's arrest has exposed the BJP's doublespeak on the issue of corruption. It claims the BJP doesn't practice what it preaches. Well, and in the meanwhile, Congress spokesperson Abhishek Manu Singhvi also spoke up on the arrest made saying it speaks volumes of the morality practiced by the BJP. Here's more from that comment. And it is that person who has been found prima facie by a court not to be entitled to bail. I think it speaks volumes for the morality practiced by the BJP, constantly preaching without practice. And it is only the obstinacy of the BJP which has prevented many other similar cases in the BJP from going down the same slippery slope. But clearly, you have here a yet another reiteration of the BJP's very severe indictment. Well, on that note, we'll take a quick break here on the bulletin. But on the other side, actor Amir Khan is sporting a new look. What's with the new look? We'll get you those details when we return to so stay with us.